All right, so now we're gonna make up our own. All right, so go ahead. Tell me, tell me one that you think might be interesting to take a look at. Um, well, could you do something with like multiplying? Yeah, you can do anything you want. Um, so you could start with like saying maybe like two and three, two and three, and then multiply like the Fibonacci numbers, like multiply the previous two. Okay, so you're gonna say F zero is two, F one is three, and what's your rule gonna be? So you multiply the previous two numbers to get the next number. Okay, so how are we gonna how are we gonna write that? So f of n plus one. F n plus one, not f of n plus oh, one. F, f n plus, plus one. one is a numbering. Yep. Equals uh, f of n times f of f n minus one. Okay, and so your sequence is going to start with a 2 and then a 3, and then what's the next one going to be? 6. 6. 18. 18. And 108. 108. And then times 18, which is 16. Um, can't figure that out off the top of my head, so it's. Um, Two, uh, 2,160 minus 216. Okay, well, 8 times 18, actually, we just did in the last video. Yeah. Funny enough, what was it? It was uh, 144. Uh-huh. And what's 100 times? What's 100 times 18? It is 180. Uh, 1,800. Okay, so it's 1,800 plus 144. Yeah. That would be 1,944. There you go. Good. Uh, why don't you make up one? Uh, right. Let's see. These are obviously, I'm using the same F, but these are uh, not the Fibonacci numbers. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to start with 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. And then... And I'll say f of n plus 1, f n plus 1, is f um, n minus f of f n minus 1. Oh, interesting. Okay. Alright. So we go 1, yeah. 2, and minus 1. Or, no, I wrote, I wrote it the other way, so it's just, it's just 1. Yeah, so we have to be careful what we're subtracting. So f of 2 is f of 1 minus f of 0. So. Okay. okay. And then, now we have negative, negative 1, we get 1 minus 2. And then minus 1, th th that, that's minus 2. And then minus 1. And then 1. And then 2. So then this is this loops. How do you know? Because we've got the same thing. We've got a one two. We've got a one two. Huh. So just gonna go back to there. So this is a this was a, a quite a surprise actually. Mm -hmm. The Fibonacci number and and the Lucas numbers got got very big uh, very quickly. Um, your products got pretty big pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, but this seemingly small change with the subtraction, uh, this didn't get big at all. In fact, it, it went around in a loop. Yeah. So that actually shows that these uh, recurrence relations have very interesting behavior. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to just show you uh, one way to, to solve these. Okay. okay.